how do you afford this? What do you do for money? How did you afford this designer bag? No, I do not have a sponsor. No, I do not have a sugar daddy. I got it. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. You like my hair? Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're a seasoned subscriber, I'd like to thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for your support. I see you guys and I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Lorraine and my channel is Laurie Lux, where I focus on fashion, luxury, lifestyle and travel. So if you love that too, which I'm hoping that you do, then please subscribe to my channel and then also press the notification bell. So every single time I upload a video, you automatically notify today i am bringing you five tips on how you can afford and save for luxury items if you're that kind of person who loves the idea of luxury items but you can't afford it or you don't know how to save for it this is the video that is for you i get a lot of dms on my instagram people asking me how do you afford this what do you do for money how did you afford this designer bag so i thought i'm gonna do a video explaining to you guys how i personally afford the luxury items in my collection no i do not have a sponsor no i do not have a sugar daddy so this is the video for you if you also want to save and afford luxury so get yourself a snack or hot drink and let's also these tips are very very applicable if you're trying to save up for mortgage car anything that is very expensive if you want to make a huge purchase but you don't have the money i recommend that you watch this video to pick up some saving tips Tip number one on how to afford and save for luxury items is make sure that you've taken care of all your essential living expenses before you even think about buying any luxury item. So when I talk about essential living expenses, I'm talking about your mortgage, your rent, your bills, your debt, like everything that is essential that you have to pay for, make sure that you have paid for that first before you are using your money or a credit card to buy any luxury items. I also recommend that you have some kind of direct debit actually for your essential living expenses. So your payday, you have direct debits for like your mortgage, you know, your gas and electric, your car, things like that. So when that money comes out you also aware of how much money that you actually have do not under any circumstances go out buying anything not even just luxury items if you haven't sorted out your essential levels so that is very 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 the second tip on how you can afford and save for luxury items which can also be applicable to any other thing that you're trying to save for is budgeting it is very very childish for you to go out and buy something without actually knowing if you can afford it one of the main budgeting tools that i would have for you guys is a budget spreadsheet i'm going to link in down below the one that i personally use that helps me out so every single month or maybe two or three months in advance you complete a budget statement which outlines all your outgoings and your expenditures so that way you know how much you have left after all of that so like the first tip you know what your essential living expenses are going to be everything that you count as an expenditure you need to outline this in your budget and then you then know at the end of the month how much money are you going to have and then you know how much money you can actually put towards that luxury item that you have your eye on so that is my second tip on how you can afford and save for luxury items the third tip that i have for you guys in terms of how you can afford and save for luxury items can seem like such a trivial and common common sense tip but it's actually true you need to save just like anything that you want to buy in life of value whether it's be a mortgage or anything you need to absolutely save for it so you have to have that discipline so you need to have a savings account that's completely separate to your expenditures or your day-to-day -day living i would actually recommend it's a savings account that is out of sight out of mind that you do not see that you cannot just take out if you so do please once you've done your budget statement you are aware like what you can afford and what you can't afford in terms of 
saving so if it's like a hundred pound or 200 pounds that you're saving for that luxury item a month then you put that money aside on a monthly basis until you come up if you're saving up for um louis vuitton bb alma for example or if you're saving like 100 to 200 pounds a month you will absolutely be able to afford and purchase that bag sooner than you realize so that is my third tip i think saving is very very important like i personally enjoy saving like i feel like such a geek but i love it i love looking into my savings account and like oh my god i've got this to have whatever you have in your mind that law of attraction that you are going to have that item or whatever it is that you want to buy at the end of i don't know whether it's two three months or a year depending on how big of a purchase is like it really motivates you it keeps you going and in a way it stops you from like frivolous spending as well not just saving for the sake of saving but saving with focus so you know saving for a luxury item or saving for a mortgage that kind of keeps you motivated and keeps you going and you know exactly what you're doing you're not going to be spending money on items that you don't necessarily need so that is definitely a very important tip when it comes to affording luxury items the fourth tip that i have for you guys in terms of how you can afford luxury luxury items is once you've saved up for the retail price of that luxury items say for example you've been saving up for a, a Gucci Dionysus bag for example which I believe retails for less than a thousand five hundred pounds instead of just going out and buying it in a Gucci store I would recommend that you compare and contrast um, different websites online and so I'm talking about Farfetch, Sense, Net-a-Pote, all these different luxury websites that sell brand new authentic luxury items. I really do think that sometimes you get better deals instead of just going out and buying it from the actual store. But of course, if you really want the experience of going into a, a luxury boutique, absolutely do that. But if you're looking on, on getting an affordable luxury item, I think the fourth tip is very, very important to compare and contrast different websites so don't just go out and buy something actually look can I get it cheaper even if it's like hundred pounds less that's a hundred pounds that you can put towards another luxury item or something else that you need some of these websites actually do like promotional offers like for example if you haven't bought there from before they could do like a 10% off for a new customer or they could have like sales like a Black Friday sales or promotions that, that could be running on their website so do make sure that you look at these websites and make the most of the cheaper prices and the subscription and also whatever promotions that they've got going on so yeah that is a fourth tip that I have for you guys in terms of how you can afford luxury items the fifth and final tip that I have for you in terms of how you can afford luxury items is getting them pre-loved now this might not be for everyone because like I said in my fourth tip, some people do prefer getting brand new items and also the experience of going into a boutique and getting things gift wrapped. Like that is an experience in itself and if that's what you want, then absolutely do that. But again, if you're seeking for affordable luxury items, I think pre-loved is so underrated. You can get luxury items at excellent to very good condition and um, on websites such as Fashion File, Real Real, Vestier Collective, all these websites that you can get authenticized luxury items at very, very discounted prices. Like I mentioned in my luxury wishlist for 2020 video, I said they are brands that I would never buy full price, and that is Chanel. Like I, I have the Chanel double flap on my luxury wish list for 2020. Now, I would never buy that full price because that retails for over 3,000 pounds and that is just not something that I'm willing to do at this moment in time. So when I do purchase it, I will definitely be getting that pre-loved because as I said, I will be able to do my research correctly and I'm not just impulsive in terms of just wanting something instantly. I can actually find a Chanel or any kind of luxury item at a very excellent condition. So I will really, really recommend this. It's also about personal taste. If you don't like the idea of somebody having owned a bag or had the bag prior to you, like that's fine. But some people actually prefer pre-love because they do have that kind of vintage vibe as well. And also if you don't like it, you can 
resell it if you want like you wouldn't have spent such a, a huge amount of money because once you actually leave the store with a bag the value just absolutely diminishes and it loses its value so if you're not 100% sure as well if you're going to get your cost per wear of the item why not just get it pre-loved and if you don't like it you can always resell it on the same website that you bought it from nice. so to sum up the five tips that i have for you in terms of how you can afford luxury items and save for them is sort out your essential living costs first and foremost that's like your mortgage your debt or anything in that nature also budget it's very very important that you use some kind of budget spreadsheet so you are aware of what your expenditures are outgoing so you know how much money you have left at the end of that it's important that you save you have focus you know what you're saving for you know the amount that you need to save for that gives you focus discipline as well comparing different websites before just buying something outright from the luxury boutique because you can utilize the promotions or sales that they might be having on their websites and the last one is getting luxury items pre-loved it's not everybody's cup of tea i hope you found these tips helpful guys and useful let me know in the comment section down below what luxury item you want to save for what your saving tips are as a community we should be sharing with each other i also want to learn how i can also save not just for luxury items but other things in my life that i want to buy and purchase thank you so much for watching guys if you've enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you've come all this way i would really really appreciate it make sure you're having a lovely day night evening wherever you are and i will see you back here in my next video bye guys